videos of a politician using social media to spread unfounded claims of voter fraud and a rigged election. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? But this isn't happening in the United States. This is happening here in Europe, in the Netherlands. It's worth noting that the Dutch Electoral Council have reiterated that they will investigate any genuine claims of widespread voter fraud. But a lot of these little allegations that have been made over the last few weeks have come from the social media accounts like this one of Thierry Baudet. He is a politician with the far-right Forum for Democracy party. And over the last few weeks and even months on social media, he has been planting seeds of doubt, raising questions and vague remarks, suggesting without evidence that that the Dutch elections will be fraudulent. Now, it's important to stress that these have not picked up a lot of traction. So far, over the last few weeks, this topic has only spiked on three occasions. But nevertheless, we are seeing other accounts in Dutch tweeting these unfounded allegations of election fraud. Now, this is all detailed in a recent report by Defend Democracy and their special disinformation watchdog known as Kreiskijker. Now, here they have detailed and analysed the amount of social media conversations that are happening in the Netherlands leading up to this election. And they've reiterated that voter fraud and election fraud has been a small topic of conversation. Well, for more on this, I spoke to the executive director of Defending Democracy, Alice Stolmeyer, and she told me that with this strategy, Thierry Bedeau was trying to copy that strategy that was enacted by the former United States President, Donald Trump. The far-right leader of the Forum Democracy, Cherry Baudet, has tried to copy Trump's election playbook, uh, but on social media, he's not yet very successful. So the big election lie is not yet catching on in the Netherlands. It did briefly become a trending topic yesterday, but you know, the, the wider part of society is just going to vote and trusting the, that we have free and fair elections. So people perhaps copying Trump's playbook, sowing these baseless claims of election misinformation. But as Defend Democracy have said, Isabel, these claims have fortunately not gained a lot of traction. The majority of voters in the Netherlands are heading to the polls, putting their faith in free and fair elections.